What if the end of our universe is just the beginning of another? Welcome, dear listeners, to the grandest stage of all, the universe, a vast cosmic theater where galaxies perform a ballet of light and stars sing arias of gravity. Here, on this stage, unfolds the greatest drama of existence, one that's been playing out for about 13.8 billion years, give or take a few eons. Over time, countless theories have tried to predict the final act of this cosmic drama, the ultimate fate of the universe. Some whisper of a big freeze, where galaxies drift apart until stars burn out and everything fades into a cold, dark oblivion. Others speak of a big rip, where the fabric of space-time itself tears apart in a cataclysmic finale. But amidst these visions of cosmic doom, there's a theory that paints a different picture. A theory that sees not an ending, but a new beginning. A theory that echoes the eternal rhythm of life itself. Birth, death, rebirth. This is the Big Bounce Theory. The Big Bounce Theory suggests that our universe is like a cosmic heartbeat, pulsating in cycles of expansion and contraction. It proposes that the so-called end of our universe is merely a point of maximum expansion, a cosmic inhale, if you will. And what follows? The universe exhales, contracts, and collapses in on itself, only to bounce back and start a new cycle, a new universe, a new beginning. This notion challenges the conventional idea of a one-time, one-way journey from the Big Bang to a distant, cold future. Instead, it sees the universe as an ongoing symphony, with no true beginning or end, just an unending cycle of cosmic breaths. Imagine a bouncing ball. As it leaves your hand, it expands away, much like our universe has been doing since the Big Bang. At the apex of its bounce, the ball momentarily hangs in the air before it starts to contract, drawing back in upon itself, just as some cosmologists believe our universe will do one day. But here's the twist. Instead of hitting the ground and stopping, our universe ball bounces. It contracts to a point of extreme density, then explodes outward again in a new Big Bang, starting the cycle of expansion anew. This is the heart of the Big Bounce Theory, an endless cosmic dance of expansion and contraction of Big Bangs and Big Crunches, stretching back into the infinite past and forward into the eternal future. But what makes the universe bounce rather than crunch to a stop? Well, the key lies in quantum mechanics. When the universe contracts to a certain extreme density, quantum effects come into play, creating a kind of repulsive force that triggers a new expansion. So the Big Bounce Theory paints a picture of a universe that's not a one-hit wonder, but an eternal performer, constantly reinventing itself in a never-ending cycle of creation and destruction. It's a universe where time has no beginning or end, and where the Big Bang is not the birth of everything, but just the latest in an infinite series of cosmic rebirths. This theory also offers a fresh perspective on the fate of our universe. Rather than facing a cold, dark end in the far future, our universe may be destined to bounce again, giving birth to a new era of cosmic evolution. Now that's a lot to wrap our heads around, isn't it? But what are the main points of this theory? The Big Bounce theory at its heart is a tale of cycles and rebirths. In the grand cosmic narrative, it offers a fresh perspective, suggesting that our universe didn't just burst into existence with a singular, magnificent Big Bang. Rather, it's been bouncing back and forth in an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction. Picture a cosmic heartbeat throbbing in the vastness of eternity. This notion of an eternal and cyclical universe is a significant departure from the linear one-directional timeline we're accustomed to thinking in. It proposes a universe that has no beginning or end, but simply is, always has been, and always will be. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of time itself, pushing us to reimagine it as a cyclical entity rather than a one-way street. So, what does this imply for space? Well, in the Big Bounce theory, space isn't just a static backdrop against which the universe unfolds. It's an active player, constantly flexing, expanding, contracting, and shaping the cosmic drama. In this model, the universe expands from a state of high density, eventually reaching a point of maximum expansion. Then, like a cosmic balloon reaching its limit, it begins to contract, leading to a big crunch. But this crunch is not the end, it's merely a prelude to another bounce, another universe born from the ashes of the old. This interplay of expansion and contraction 
The universe's ceaseless rhythm breathes life into the concept of a dynamic evolving cosmos. It offers a novel way of understanding our universe, one where time and space dance in an eternal cosmic ballet. But the Big Bounce theory isn't without its challenges. It's a theory still in its infancy, grappling with complex questions about the nature of the universe and our place in it. It needs to reconcile with our existing understanding of physics and meet the rigorous demands of scientific evidence and mathematical consistency. So, the Big Bounce theory gives us a universe that is eternal and cyclic. But how does it hold up against other theories? In the cosmic boxing ring, we have the Big Bounce theory against the Big Bang theory. On one side, we have the Big Bang theory, the reigning champion for decades. It tells us the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, exploding into existence around 13.8 billion years ago. It's a theory that has been supported by many observations, such as the redshift of distant galaxies and the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's the heavyweight, the one to beat. But on the other side, we have the challenger, the big bounce theory. This theory suggests that the universe didn't begin with a bang, but rather it's part of an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction. So instead of a start, we have a series of bounces, each creating a new era of existence. Now let's get down to the comparisons. The Big Bang Theory, despite its popularity, has its limitations. For instance, it fails to explain what happened before the bang, what caused the bang, or what lies beyond our universe. The Big Bounce Theory, on the other hand, offers a solution to these mysteries, suggesting a cyclic universe that has no beginning and no end. However, the Big Bounce Theory isn't without its criticisms. The main challenge is the lack of empirical evidence. While the Big Bang Theory has observational data backing it up, the Big Bounce Theory is largely theoretical, relying on the principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. Current scientific research is still divided on these theories. While some studies suggest that the cyclic nature of the Big Bounce Theory might explain certain cosmological observations better, others argue that the simplicity and elegance of the Big Bang Theory make it a more plausible explanation. So, whether our universe ends in a whimper or a bounce, only time can tell. In the grand scheme of things, we are but a blink in the cosmic timeline. As we delve into the heart of the universe, we find ourselves on the precipice of limitless possibilities. Theories such as the Big Bounce not only challenge our understanding of the cosmos, but also inspire us to question, to explore, and to dream. This theory, as audacious as it may seem, is a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's an invitation to rethink our perspective, to reimagine the universe not as a one-off spectacle, but as an eternal cycle of creation and dissolution. And though we may not have all the answers, it's this very uncertainty that fuels our curiosity. For every answer we unearth, a plethora of new questions arise. It's an intricate dance, a cosmic ballet, choreographed by the laws of physics and time. As we continue our cosmic journey, the universe remains a beautiful mystery, always ready to surprise us.